Hey guys, what's up? It's Jax the Legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft sorta ish tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine on your Minecraft uh, version. However, just a warning, this will only work on Java as Bedrock does not allow for any mods that are not considered cheats. So, we're going to start by opening up our web browser. It can be anything, it can be Internet Explorer. I like using Chrome just because it's the sleekest and nicest, I think. And type in Optifine, O-P-T-I, and then we put fine at the end of that, F-I-N-E. And then we want to put .NET. And it should take you to a website that looks like this. Once you've done that, you go over to downloads at the top there, just like that. Or you can do the alternative and click the link in the description down below and it'll take you to this page. Now you might be wondering, Jax, I see all of these uh, versions here and I can download them for versions all the way back to 1.7.2. That's great, but I can't download it for 1.15. Well, to download it for 1.15, all you have to do is hit this preview versions here. Now, although they are sort of like snapshot type, they might have they might have one or two bugs, but when I'm using them, I find they, they run really, really smoothly and I don't have any crashes. So once you've worked out which version you want to download, say with um, this one, I always suggest downloading the top one as it would be the most recent one. Same with here, top one, most recent one. So then click on the mirror, so once you click on the mirror, it sh should take you to a page like this. Click on Download Optifine, and it should start downloading it straight away. Now, then it will come up with this um, message. This type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep the preview of Optifine.jar? Um, well, the reason why it's saying this is because the jar file. It'll say this with any jar file you download, whether it be another type of mod, etc. So it's not going to hurt your computer, so you don't have to worry about that at all. So you can press Keep. Now, once you've done that, you want to click on the arrow here and click open. Now, if it does not allow you to do this, make sure that all of your Java drivers are up to date because that is very important. There's many tutorials out there on YouTube, so make sure, to make, make sure they are up to date. Now that you've got this up here, the Optifine installer, all you have to do is press install. And this installer will install Optifine in the official Minecraft launcher and will create a new profile, Optifine, called Optifine for it. Now, I'm not going to press this install button because I already have it, so I'll just hit cancel. However, if I go back into Minecraft now, you can see I do have that Optifine um, thing here. I didn't even create that. And it also has that Optifine logo there. So now I can just hit play. It might do a little bit of installation. Mine doesn't just because I've used Optifine so many times. And then you can start up your Minecraft. Okay, so we have now opened up Minecraft and you can see there's not much of a difference other than this small little modded part here. So let's full screen that and I'll tell you all about Optifine. You might be wondering, Jax, all my mates have told me to install Optifine, but I don't really know what it does. Well, it is either an FPS boosting or a quality boosting software. So what it allows you to do is say go into options and say go into shaders and turn that on. Or go into animations and turn all of these off to increase your FPS. Because that means your computer's not dealing with as many things. So let's go and have a look, go and hop into a single player world and have a look at that, what that does. Okay, so here we have some lava, some fire and some water. And you can see... I'm getting a decent amount of FPS, so 72 frames. Now, there might not be that big of a difference on my computer because I have a pretty beefy computer. However, for a slightly worse computer, there will be more of a difference. So, to turn these animations off or to get better FPS, you can turn your details down, your, which are here. You can turn, like, fog off, the trees onto fast, as you can see, etc. And you can turn the rain and snow off if you want. But I find the biggest... Um, change here is turning all of your particles off. As you can see, it makes it look like Minecraft is frozen. No water's moving, no lava's moving, and also no fire's moving. And you can see I'm getting probably 30 frames more now. But of course, this will help your computer be able to play Minecraft smooth, smoother. As well as that, it allows you to see other people's Optifine capes. You can see here. And you have to pay, I believe, donate like around 10-ish dollars to get one of these. But I definitely recommend you donate to them as they are an awesome software and they do it all for completely free. And also, the capes look awesome. As well as that, Optifine allows you to install something called shaders, 
which increases the quality of Minecraft and adds some shadows to it. So you can see I have two different types of shaders here that I've installed. So let's go on to one of them. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how to install shaders, make sure to let me know. But as you can see, shaders really makes Minecraft look so much better. But remember, this again does take a toll on your computer and it can make it a little harder to run. So I probably would reduce my render distance a little bit when running shaders. So now you know how to install Optifine and get it set up. Of course, you can spend hours and hours browsing through all of the different options and stuff, but the ones that I suggested will make the biggest difference straight away. Of course, you can go in and change other things a bit later because none of it is always set in stone. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, and remember, stay carbonated!